Callum, second second career temper uh, and, and one finally up to Steel County Ground. How, how just how are you feeling right now? Absolutely delighted. Uh, it's been a long time coming. I think my first temper was in my first year at the club in 2017. So delighted. Obviously a great three days. The boys put in a lot of hard work. Set up beautifully by the batters. Um, and yeah, as as a bowling group, I thought we we're, were pretty good. So top three days, and hopefully can continue. From a bowling perspective, particularly spin seemed to lead the way on a pitch that typically doesn't spin so what was the difference between the wicket this week as, apart from every other week yeah a bit drier um, and I think we had a real aim to try and make it spin we, we identified that at the start of the week as a potential matchup that we could expose them uh, and we got our tactics spot on uh, shout out to Andy the groundsman and uh, got the pitch exactly how we wanted it but a lot of credit has to go to Marcus Harris and Colin Ackerman uh, on day one if we don't get 450, it's a different game. So big shout out to them. They, they laid a platform that I didn't think we, we could get beat from. So really pleased. A top effort from all the boys. Everyone with the ball started off on fire today. Um, inevitably, there was a point in the game where they where the, the opposition tried to mount some sort of fight back. Was it just a case of just bit play, being patient and, and waiting for the wicket to come? Yeah, definitely. We, we spoke as a group saying that it's not just going to happen. Um, Gloucester are obviously a good side. They've been at the top of the table for, for quite a couple of weeks now. So we knew it was going to be tough. Uh, and to be fair to Tattersall and Colby, and they played nicely. And, but we stuck at our guns and uh, we knew that if we put enough balls in the right area, it was, it was going to come our way. So I thought we were led superbly again over the three days. Colin was, was superb. He mixed the ball as well, um, caught his catches, got 60 with the bat and six wickets. So I thought he was, he was superb again. After speaking to, to Paul after the Middlesex victory here last week, we said that it seemed like there was something on the, on the horizon. Um, obviously, then it came with the Middlesex victory. Is the going now back-to-back -back for the first time in a couple of years and for the club, is that a case of putting in a hard yards earlier in the season against the likes of Surrey and Somerset and, and Hampshire? Yeah, I think obviously the start of the season didn't go to plan. Uh, we played some probably the top-end sides in the group. Some test players got the better of us. If you look around the, around the teams that beat us, you look at Craig Overton, James Vince, Mohamed Abbas. Um, but we learned a lot from them fixtures. We're obviously a young side. Uh, but, yeah, we learned a lot and we kind of took our kind of wounds for them three weeks, hopefully became better players as a result. And, yeah, weeks like this make it all worthwhile. And just looking into the future now, obviously the Vitality Blast starts next week. A lot of momentum as a group, but also personally for you to take into that competition, hopefully go all the way. Yeah, definitely. We've got a good T20 squad, uh, a lot of options, and it's obviously a format that we did well last year. So, again, hopefully don't get looked too far ahead, but we've just got to be as prepared as we can for Lanks on Thursday and, and hit them hard.